कैश मेरी सांसों में कैश मेरी आँखों में कैश मेरे दिल में भी कैश मेरी बाहों में और राइट डो नॉट वरी वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट कैश सी ए एस एच हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सी ए सी एच ई जिस कॉल्ड एज कैश मेमोरी और somebody will call it as a cache. So today's topic let's begin with. Before that I welcome you all in my channel Technical Talks of Pitara. And today we are going to cover a very important topic of micro study that is cache or the cache memory. So basically as you know that it's a part of memory that means it's going to store something. So cache basically stores your objects which has been used very recently so for the first time if you are using any attribute elements any of the objects or if you have run any kind of reports so the results of those reports the objects which has been used recently they are going to be stored into the memory and this memory we call it is a cache memory and why do we need to remove uh, we need to keep that into that cache memory the reason is very simple because as you know any of the bi tool instead of hitting the database if you would like to store that into your own system into the memory it's going to be very faster retrieval correct so caching is very very powerful feature in micro strategy and for that matter in any of the other tool as well so in short cache is something that is storing the information which has been used very recently all right so let's see the different types of cache or the cache so earlier we used to have three types of cache which is like result cache element cache and object cache as you know that from last couple of years micro strategy has one more new tool or the functionality that we call it as a dossier so that's how the fourth one cache type begins and let's cover that first that cache is called as page cache so page cache means whenever you are running any kind of dossiers so if a user is going to view a dossier which has already been published into the intelligence server so in that case page if you are running for the first time the page cache will be created so that next time if you are switching between the pages so do let me know if you do not know much about the dossiers and what is chapters and pages but at this point of time do understand that Uh, let let me show you. I think I have some sample examples. Give me a moment. I think I should have. Yeah, here we go. So, let's try to run some sample dossiers. this is one of the dossier that we are going to run again if you do not know about the dossiers documents dashboards please feel free to comment so that i can create for you so as you can see here we have chapter called analytic capabilities and the forecast and the different pages are like sub category performance market basket analysis and all that so when i'm first time when i'm running from uh, going to the one page and then moving to another page the page cache is being created this is all about your page cache hope this point is clear with you all right let's go to the next cache which is called as result cache so result cache as the name says it can be a report cache or the document cache but the thing that you need to know is when you are running that time the report or the document they will have their own uh, attributes and metrics and some kind of calculations has happened and they have generated some kind of results so their results are already a uh, pre calculated and processed and that is being stored into intelligence server and we call it as a result cache so result cache can be 
मल्टीपल टाइप्स इट कैन बी रिपोर्ट कैसे इट कैन बी डॉक्यूमेंट कैसे अगेन अंडर द रिपोर्ट कैसे मेनी पीपल विल से लाइक देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एक्स एम एल कैसे और फॉर दैट मैटर इफ समबडी आस्क यू लाइक इंटेलिजेंट क्यूब ऑल्सो वर्क इन द सेम वे राइट सो द थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो हियर इज इंटेलिजेंट क्यूब बेसिकली अलाउज यू टू स्टोर द डाटा फ्रॉम योर डाटा वेयर हाउस एंड कंप्लीटली पुट दैट इन टू द इंटेलिजेंट सर्वर मेमोरी सो इंटेलिजेंट क्यूब इज अ सेपरेट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ माइक्रो स्ट्रेटी अ सेपरेट फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ माइक्रो स्ट्रेटी दैट बेसिकली फैचेस ऑल द रिकॉर्ड्स वॉट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू पुल इन एंड पुट इन टू द क्यूब इट्स वन ऑफ द ओलैप सर्विसेस ओलैप मीन्स ऑनलाइन एनालिटिकल प्रोसेसिंग सो दैट काइंड ऑफ ओलैप सर्विसेस वेयर यू कैन रिफ्रेश योर क्यूब विच इज कॉल्ड एज इंटेलिजेंट क्यूब इन माइक्रो स्ट्रेटी यू कैन शेड्यूल द रिफ्रेश यू कैन गेट all the data it can be in mbs gbs like that but cache memory when we talk about it's a, it's a very small size because it's about the ram memory that you are going to consume okay there is one more uh, similar term that is called as history list so history list is again a type of result uh, report cache uh, which is again in terms a kind of a result cache so the difference here is your history list is basically your same result set cache but it's only for a specific user so say for example if i am a user and if i am running something and i apply like to send something say for example i am running my intelligent cube so intelligent cube i know that is going to take uh, say 30 minutes or 40 minutes so instead of waiting that long what i will do is while running the cube uh, uh, i'll show this in example also do let me know in in case if you are looking for more practicals on that but yeah if you are running the cube on top you will see the option that send to history if you send that to history automatically it will go and reside in your history and once the cube refresh is done or it fails or whatever happens you are going to get that message like this has already been happened so this is your different different types of result cache a uh, third type of cache is called as element cache so element cache means as you know that we have attribute elements so the definition wise like whichever the lookup table elements you have recently used that is going to be there in your element cache so say for example uh, you are running a report and you have multiple prompts and you have region attribute so what will be the uh, elements of that region attribute it will be north region south region east region whatever uh, uh, whatever the region that you are going to talk about correct so these are not uh, something like your attribute elements so these values when they are stored and when you are running for the next time it will automatically pick so this is called your element cache the last one is called as object cache so object cache means as you know in micro strategy everything is an object whether it's a schema object application object configuration objects anything so when you open the definition of any object say for example you created a sales metric the moment you open that you just double click or right click and edit you will see that how this object has been defined correct so that definition of that object which has been recently used is being stored into the object cache so this is your object cache uh, here uh, let me quickly recap page cache is on to the dossiers when you are running and it switches when you are switching between the one page to another the page cache will be created the result cache can be report cache document cache history list cache but basically we talk about the report and document cache because their results are being stored there into the system so next time you are running the report a grid report or a document by document i mean the report service document rsds okay and third thing is the element cache all the attribute elements which has been used recently and object cache is the definition of those objects correct so here important thing that you need to remember is your element cache and object cache can be created in two tier ar architecture as well as hope you know about it if you do not know do let me know i'll create a separate video for the two tier three tier multi tier architecture in micro strategy but with this i assume that you know what is two tier architecture 
okay the, this is called as client architecture and three tier is called as server side architecture so element and object cache can be created at the client side as well as into the server side so you have to remember that only element and object cache can be created at the client side but if you talk about the result set cache whether it's a report cache document cache or even the page cache for that matter they can be created only at the server side server side means where your intelligent server resides so client side always it's a memory being utilized to save the element cache and object cache but server side it can be either memory or it can be your hard disk okay hdds or sdds whatever the hard disk drives are there okay so this gives us a statement that you cannot create or use result or page cache in direct connection or client connection or the two tier connection similarly one important thing that you have to remember is when you're talking about documents this document cache which is a part of result set cache will be created only and only when you are using microstrategy web they will not be recreated when you are using or running any kind of document using microstrategy developer tool okay hope that part is clear do let me know if you have any doubts and questions and hope you understand why it's not being created in developer because when you are running in developer you will see that it's being used some micro uh, microsoft product or the adobe product and it runs in some kind of a pdf reader so because in developer it opens in adobe reader we should not use uh, or the cache will not be used when this is created in developer or when you are running a report in developer it will only be created when you are creating in web all right hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do like share and subscribe to it thank you have a good day